I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key. Recently, the Office of Inspector General, or OIG, discussed two significant issues where hospitals were coding incorrectly on Medicare claims. Today, let's take a look at one of those issues. As a certified marketable medical coder, you should review the OIG report and make sure you are coding appropriately. Remember, claims submitted for payment should be supported by the documentation in the medical record. For information on the five steps to become a certified marketable medical coder, check out the link in the description box. One of the issues in the report involved the improper use of modifier 59, specifically when coding for right heart catheterizations with heart biopsies. These coding issues have led to significant overpayments and overpayment recoveries. So let's review modifier 59, shall we? According to CPT, modifier 59 is for distinct procedural services. Under certain circumstances, it may be necessary to indicate that a procedure or service was distinct or independent from another procedure or service performed on the same day. Modifier 59 is used to identify procedures or services that are not normally reported together, but are appropriate under the circumstances. Documentation must support a different session different procedure or surgery, different site or organ system, separate incision or excision, separate lesion or separate injury, not ordinarily performed on the same day by the same individual. In this situation, payments for heart biopsies include right heart catheterizations when both are performed during the same encounter. Adding the modifier 59 to the outpatient claim states that the procedures were separate and distinct, which is incorrect. It is important that coders stay abreast of the guidance and regulations related to both codes and modifiers. Below in the description box, I have a link to a MedLearn Matter article on the proper use of modifier 59. It is okay to use modifier 59, but it is important to know when and how to use it appropriately. As I have stressed several times, this is the kind of information that will position you or someone you know to become a certified marketable medical coder. If you have found this information helpful and valuable, please subscribe to our channel, like our video, comment, and share with your friends and colleagues. As always, be safe, be kind, and don't wish for it, work for it. Take care.